Hello everyone, happy Sunday, hope you're doing well. This is Hayden here from Tokyo Motorsport and we're back with another trucking video. This video, well, I'll be honest with you shot off the bat. This is a, a video that I'm recording off the cuff because I did record a video previous to where we are now, but the audio was all wrong and I couldn't release it to you guys. So I'm having to do this video instead and I'll explain, basically re-explain what I just explained in the video that I can't release it's all a bit messy but anyway we're in a bit of financial trouble as you can see by the balance at the top of your screen we're minus 704 euros we were minus 2900 euros at one stage i think before i just did this previous job to get to where we are today uh, we're in uh Kurova, i think that's how you pronounce it and we're off to uh pet pet st uh pet st i think that's how you pronounce it sorry and we're at the Ford dealership. There's actually like a Ford where factory warehouse manufacturing plant here in um, in Romania. And we're taking nine tons of empty barrels, uh, 110 kilometers over to um, uh, Petisti. I think that's how you pronounce it, like I say, um, in this video. So I know it's a bit of a, a weird sort of video. Maybe I hope it does come across okay. Uh, it's a bit frustrating. I couldn't release the video because my audio went all a bit wrong, and I couldn't, I couldn't release it to you guys. I'm sorry, but I have got this video for you today, and we are going to deliver this load. We've only got 109 kilometers. There is a bit of a dip here. Look, if I go outside view, uh, get rid of those cameras a second. You can see there is a bit of a dip. Look, you can see there's like a hole in the ground. I was like driving in and I was like, what the hell is that? Look, if I go down it with the tray, with the lorry, you can see how much of a dip it actually is. But that's one hell of a dip there. Obviously, the ground has sort of uh, perished underneath or whatever. But yeah, we're at the Ford dealership and we are still in Romania. We'll, we'll stay in Romania for this video. I'm doing an external contract through World of Trucks. If you don't know what World of Trucks is, I'll put a link to World of Trucks in the video description. Basically, it just gives you extra contracts to do. Um, the financial benefit also is quite good so you can earn some good money for these external contracts I do them now and again depending on because sometimes it's easy just to switch it up a bit they've got a lot of different loads you can do or uh, other things such and such like uh, such as that so that's what I'm doing today it was only 109 kilometers to the delivery point I've got to be careful of trams there's trams everywhere here driving in on my last video or driving into this place I was being stuck with tr by trams and hit by trams all over the place. You can see the lorry is a bit damaged. We need to think about fuel as well at some stage in this video because we are running a bit low on fuel. But it all comes down to the financial impact of <laughs> of where we're at. Really wanted to upgrade the truck. Really wanted to bring in some more staff to be able to, to help us earn some money quickly. But that's now not going to happen. We're about 170, 140 thousand pounds in debt right now, uh, uh, euros. Sorry, in debt right now. So we're our grind basically over the next few videos is to basically get ourselves out of this financial ruin that we're in. The slight problem that we do have is that we are literally paying loan repayments every single day. So every single time a day passes through, we're paying loan repayments. We're paying loan repayments. So effectively, we've got to try and pay off a little bit more than what we're than what our loan repayments are to get that interest down that's effectively what we'll try and do but we've got to stay afloat we've got to eat need fuel need to need some more look i've got no i've got that's how poor i am i've got no bed sheets for the, for the truck i've literally got i've got no money at all i'm sleeping basically fully i've got a little bag here that i can wash myself and get myself all clean and and tidy but i've got no sheets i've got one little pillow it's got a euro truck logo on it and that's all i've got to my name right now um, it's very very poor being a trucker starting out so we need to try and we need to try and uh, earn some money the truck could do have a bit of a repair as well I mean it's not the best truck either I mean the truck's really old but the truck's a few years old now so we need an upgrade at some point we just can't afford it at this current moment in time so we'll keep trucking on and we'll keep pushing on to, uh, to success I hope you have liked these videos. Uh, I'm really enjoying making them. Like I explained to you guys previous, I've really enjoyed creating these Euro Truck videos. We are a sim racing community first and foremost here at Togo Motorsport, but it's really good to be able to do something a little bit different. The last video has been received quite well. 
obviously I'm recording this video and only if I think the second or third video is dropped and this is video four so effectively I'm really keeping on top of video creation and really building a buffer so you guys can keep well entertained I hope on a Sunday evening at 5 p.m. when these videos drop if at any stage you do like this video please do drop a thumbs up on this video because it really does um, show your appreciation and if you're not yet a subscriber to the channel then please do consider hitting subscribing and um, it helps more than you can imagine I'd love to be able to turn this turn this into a full-time job creating videos for you guys so any, any subscribe it's free to do so hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell plus liking a video just really helps the channel grow so any any help you can do would be absolutely fantastic uh, to us here uh, and also drop a comment in the comments box down below of what you're doing if you're doing any euro trucks yourself where you are right now and anything like along those lines I, I would read every single comment and reply to them about a shadow of a doubt it'd be good to see what other people are up to and where they are and what truck they've got and what's your favorite truck sort of things like that just uh get, get involved and, and let us know what you do and hopefully we can have uh, some good trucking videos or good trucking content coming to you uh, here at Toga Motorsport plus other content in the future maybe depends on how how well, how well it's received we've only got 69 kilometers to go which is obviously really good because it's going to be a relatively short video I hope last few videos have been quite long with a bit of time lapse in between not going to time lapse these videos today should probably put some lights on though because it's getting a bit dark now it's quarter past six here in Romania and we're not expected to get there for another hour or so we do need to stop soon we've got four hours to our next stop so what we'll do is we'll park up try and find a place to rest and then obviously end the video there and move on to the next uh, to the next location if possible I'm actually really gutted that I couldn't rec uh, release that video that I just done for you uh, we went into quite a little bit of depth about certain things that I suppose I could go into again but we haven't got the time because the, the delivery is so short but effectively the plan is just to get out of this financial deficit that we're in and get ourselves moving on up getting ourselves from being in the red into the black because the plan is to basically so basically what happened was I bought the garage in Bucharest thinking that actually at some stage we could have drivers here in Bucharest driving around this sort of part of Europe and it would be absolutely fantastic my thought would be short term pain for long term gain but actually now the, the short term pain is quite painful and it's affecting I haven't filled up yet It's gonna. I'm going to be get back into the oh no see I've already got another how, how, how are my headlights being on and a fence it's getting dark outside surely I'm allowed my headlights on apparently I'm not allowed to drive around with my side lights on because that gives me another fine. So we're now 864 euros in debt. Which, yay, <laughs> comes to mind. Yay, comes to mind. This is going to be interesting to try and keep ourselves in the black over the next few videos to see if we can actually do it. I think I might, I think the next video is going to be a long, a lengthy one in terms of the job itself. I think we'll have to do some sort of like mammoth journey hundreds of miles to try and bring some money in and then effectively look at I don't know whether it'd be a good idea to get ourselves into more financial trouble but buying another truck oh, I've also yeah so, so I could do that I could I could buy a truck and I, or or use give the give a driver this one buy myself a new truck and then let them go maybe in Bucharest or somewhere and then pray that the money starts coming in faster that's potentially uh, could be a plan but I don't know how much more money the bank's going to lend me before they turn around and say nah, you can't have any more son we'll have to see what happens, let me know what your thoughts are about that in the chat down below, in the comments down below sorry, let's see if we can um, hmm, interesting yeah, I might be able to yeah, it'll be interesting, won't it? To see if we can actually do that. Right, anyway, let's not worry about that. Let's worry about delivering this load of empty barrels. I'd imagine these empty barrels are from cars that they were building. and Maybe oil barrels or oil drums or... Could be anything. Could be literally anything. But it's good to pick up from the Ford dealer. Or the Ford manufacturing plant in uh, Romania. I've never been there before. Never even seen that before, to be honest. So, but this job is almost done. Wow, this video is going to be really short. It's only going to be a 10-minute video, if that. Um, 
I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do after the after we've parked up. We'll have a look at our financial situation and see if we can actually oh, slow down a bit. I don't know if we get another fine. Let's see if we can actually fix some. We can actually deal with the financial situation before we go. There's a park stop. That'll be good for. Oops, wrong signal. That'll be good for what what we need to park up to have a little rest break because we might get an early night on Saturday. And uh, start again on Sunday. There's no rest for the wicked when you're a self-employed lorry driver. Right, where is the delivery point then? It's, it's two kilometres away. I want to put my lights on now. Surely I'm allowed to put my lights on now. Right, trucks, we've got to stop in three hours. Here we go. It's on the left here. Look, here we go. Cool. It's not that one. It must be the next one. Round we go. I feel like I've delivered here before. I'm pretty sure I've done a delivery here before. I recognise the delivery point. Right, over the gate we go. Right, where do you want it? Oh, this is going to be a nightmare to park. Oh, I'm terrible at parking. Is it's round? Oh, yeah, this is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to try not to crash into evil side of the wall here. Yeah, this is going to be fun. This might take 10 minutes alone. So, as I was saying, that the video might be quite short. This this might be 10 minutes of, of just reversing. Right, where are, where are we going over there? Right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, no. Other way. I bet in real life I'll be like an absolute ace at this. But in this game, it's so difficult. Skip parking. Right. No, no, no. Straighten it up a bit. Now get the other end turning. There we go. Professional. Just want to hit the wall at the end. I mean, that's. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that parking. Right, synchronising with all the trucks. Parking challenge, 8 of 20. Right, we're back in the red, uh, green, black. Christ, we're back in the black. I'm so excited that we've actually managed to get ourselves out of problems. Overdraft settled, boom, let's go. Cool, right. Let Oh, I will show on the right page then. So here we go then. So let's go to the bank. So we're, what have we got now? We've got £2,000. pounds. Oh, 1,592 euros, in fact. Sorry. So I lied. We're 465,000 euros in debt. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, we can't repay any of it because we haven't got any money. We can only actually borrow another 10 grand, 10,000 euros. Oh, look, we can, you can borrow 30,000 euros, which is nowhere near enough to buy a lorry or anything on that matter. So we are literally stuffed. We are can't we can't do anything now. We are stuffed. Let's have a quick look at uh the job market. Any freight market stuff that we I'm pretty sure I've delivered here before. Any short jobs that we can do that's going to bring in some money really quickly i don't think there is uh no i think that might be for the next video you know two uh what's that that's uh that's 247 kilometers into bulgaria i don't really want to go back into bulgaria if i'm being honest uh oh we can go back to oh uh, this is what we'll do we'll take some pirelli tires back to uh Krayova. And there we go. We've done a full rotation then. 
on picking stuff up, dropping picking stuff up from Ford, and dropping back at Ford, and that's going to be our our video to try and yeah try and get ourselves back in some money if we can. Um, right, we've got okay. We need a park. Oh, we got, actually got to be careful of oh sugar. I got ah, there's a problem. I've got two hours, and forty seven minutes of the job. It's got to be done. I've got to do it before I stop, effectively. Yeah, I can't mess around here. I can't stop for a rest. I've got to got to plow on and deliver it, deliver it stuff back. Didn't even look out a mirror then. That's fine. Right, so we got seventy kilom seventy kilometers. Oh no. Right, check back with me in a minute when I'm back when I'm at the delivery point to take these Pirelli tires to Fords. Right, so we have made it and we are up against the clock here. We've got an hour and fifty-three minutes of rest uh, of driving, but we need to get there in an hour and fifty-eight. So we're gonna be just over our lot of driving time. I really hope that we don't get picked up by the police. This is gonna be very close. And we're going to be driving illegally for the last sort of five minutes before we get to Fords. We need to get this job done. Oh, that's close. Because that will bring us some extra revenue. So we're taking 16 tons of tyres. That's a lot of rubber. Back to the Ford dealership that we originally come from. And we are going to miss our driving point. We're going to be yawning all over the place. I really hope we don't fall asleep behind the wheel. I don't condone that at all. Whoa. We need to try and get there as fast as possible without trying to break the speed limit if we can get away with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is close. There's a... There's a... How the hell? Oh, I've, got, I've just damaged the trailer. No, 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 no. Please wait, please wait, please wait. We're up against it. How the hell do people expect to get around there with those bollards just laying there? Right, the lorry's going to be quite slow, I'd imagine, because of the amount of weight we have on the back of it. So... Oh, these bollards are really, really difficult to manoeuvre around. Cool, right, 108 kilometres, 1 hour and 47 minutes to go. We've got an hour. We've got 20 minutes over our allotted driving time here. We'll try and... Well, if we can try and break the speed limit a little bit, then um, normally we'll try and stick to it as much as possible. But we need to get back before our allotted driver time runs out. If that means breaking a little speed limit here and there, I can live with that. about rolling a truck or anything like that. You can hear my driver. You can hear me yawning away. It's uh, time for a rest, but this is going to be close, as close, as close as it can be for the old driving time. Yeah, we are 20 minutes. I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference. We'll see how we get on. I'm not sure if he actually... Whoa, whoa, what the hell? I'm not sure if he actually falls asleep. Or he literally... It, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, it's, I don't know what's going to happen. Because effectively, we need this money. We need, we need this money to be able to just pull out. That will give us a good extra bit of kitty. Money in our kitty for other things. Clearing the debts that we need. Oh, this financial ruin that we I put myself in is well, what the hell? I wasn't even that close. Well, I was, oh god! So I got more damage to the lorry. This is not going well. I hope we haven't damaged the trailer. Uh, Two percent damage to the trailer, but that's fine as long as I don't damage the cargo. I think we'll be okay with that. Forty-six minutes of driving time. Damn, we're not going to be enough. 
Lorry's slow. Let's see if we can push on a bit. Oops. Let's put our headlights on. So we can see what we're doing. Got an hour and 12 minutes left till we get there. And 39. No, we're going to run out of driver time quite quickly. I know I'm speeding, and I do apologise for speeding, but it's it's imper imperative. We need to get there. Oops. I love the fact they actually flash you if your full beams are on. Now, do I go for an overtake? Yeah, I'm getting tired. I should find a place to rest. I know. That was very naughty of me, that. Very naughty of me. Please don't please don't shout at me too much for that. This is what happens when you're in financial. You start doing things that you, you wouldn't necessarily do. 22 minutes of driving time. 49 minutes till we get there. I really need to push on now. I would do a time lapse, but it's a bit too intense to, to not. The problem is uh, a rest stop is that you can't set it for a period of time only. It, it cycles through eight hours effectively. So there's nothing you can do. You just have to wait for it to go f to finish. But obviously if I let that finish, I've got two hours and 14 minutes to do the job. Well, I'm not going to be able to deliver the job. I'm going to miss my window. So effectively, I'm going to lose out on that on that revenue. Oh, no. two minutes of driving time problem is I don't want him to fall asleep please don't fall asleep you've got 20 minutes, hold on for another 20 minutes oh no, we're stuck behind these lorries now We're going uphill. We are struggling. We've got 14 minutes to go. Seven kilometers until we reach our destination. It's the Ford dealership with 16 tons of tyres that we've got today. Or well, this evening. It's uh, quarter past 11 at night. Right, 10 minutes to go. We are now over our allotted driving time. So effectively, we're driving illegally. But there's the Ford sign. We are close. And then we can have. A, I know there's a. I know there's a park stop right outside the Ford dealership. So as soon as we've delivered our. As soon as we've delivered our goods, we can park up. And have a break. Right, we are seven minutes away from our destination. I can see the symbol. Right, it's to the speed limit now. I think we should get there in time. Our left turn is going to be here. Come on, traffic lights. Be kind to us. Be kind. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, it's our age. Traffic lights, take your time. There we go. Watch out for trams. Or well, should be any trams driving around at this late night. Right, one more left turn and we're here. I know there's... Oh, the, the lights are green. Look, stay green, stay green, stay green. Oh, they just... Oh, no, come on. They didn't... They weren't red. That wasn't a red. I'm wasting my profit. My profit's going, guys. My profit's going. Right, left turn here. We're here. We're here. We've made it. We've made it. We've made it. Oh, the panic in my voice. 
watch remember watch out for that dip there's a big dip here somewhere yeah just there look Right, where do you want it? Just where? Oh, look, just here. Oh, look, it's probably the easiest bit of parking we're going to do in this whole series. So all we need to do is just bring it round, bring it round. Try not to clatter into another trailer. Ooh, or any pallets. And effectively, hopefully... Straighten up a bit. There we go. Oh, decoupling. Decoupling? Yes, perfect. Right, we made it. Excellent job. Perfect. So that's another 2,968 euros that we've gained by... Right, okay, we're so we're in the black now. Four four thousand euros means we can stop for fuel. Right, so the plan is next. F sleep, fuel, we'll carry on. But that's probably gonna be the end of the video. Once we've got some sleep, I will end this video. We just gotta find a place to park and get some sleep. Where is the nearest rest stop? Uh, oh, here. Uh, no, is it there? No, it's going to be here, isn't it? Let's go over there. 20 kilometers away. Christ, those barriers, those barriers are going to come up. I know they said there was a parking points at the garages, but I've noticed that there aren't. They don't exist. So they're not there, so I can't, we can't park at them and rest up. So um, let's park up at the uh, fuel station and then we'll be able to end the video there and then start again fresh next time around. I think the next video, uh, we're going to focus on a long haul job. We really need to, we really need to bring that, that revenue back in. Um, to the bank clear off some of that debt so what we'll do is in the next video it will be a bit of a slog um, but we need we need to bring in some extra cash so let's look at doing a long heavy load all the way up somewhere and then hopefully we can then re I'm paying, I'm, I'm, paying, I'm paying a fine now because I'm not. I should be sleeping. I've just been fined for <laughs> going over my allotted time. We're 20 minutes away from our next stop. So many traffic lights. speed there we go now it says we can park here but I don't think we can it does say there's parking there should we have a look let's ha let's have a look here because this would be preferable a lot closer no chance of us getting our truck fixed. I know that. Let's go into the uh, service station. I wonder if we can park up next to this Scania. Oh, we can, we can, we can. Cool. Right. So we are going to fast forward some time, get some rest. 
Oh, right, panic over, we made it. So that is going to be the end of this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, it's been a bit of a an interesting video. We're in the we're in a bit of financial trouble right now, and we need to get ourselves out of it. So the next video we will attempt a really long haul where we'll try and gain some of that money back and start paying off that debt. If you have liked this video at any stage, please do consider hitting that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell because it really helps the channel grow. I've been Hayden from Togo Motorsport. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll speak to you next time. Bye for now.